Ladies and gentlemen, as promised, in this video, I'm going to explain how I overclock my RTX 3080, Ryzen 9 3900 X, as well as my HyperX Fury RAM sticks on X470 Crosshair Hero 7 motherboard. The goal of this video is to show you how a safe overclock can get you an additional 15 to 25 FPS in Call of Duty Warzone, and hopefully many more in other games. Keep in mind, however, this video is not meant to be a proper guide for overclocking, but simply me showing you how I did it, what has worked for me, as well as the results I got at the end of this video. Before we begin, here are a few things you might want to consider before attempting this yourself. Overclocking your hardware may void the warranty of your PC components if you accidentally melt them down due to high voltage or improper cooling. Speaking of proper cooling, I highly recommend that you purchase an aftermarket cooler for your CPU, preferably an all-in-one liquid cooler such as Kraken X63 or X73 to maintain low CPU temperatures. At last, please make sure that your power supply has enough headroom to provide additional power to your PC components. If you're not sure, I dropped a link in the description below that will help you calculate necessary power needed. Alright, now that you're aware of all the risks, let's begin. So first, I started overclocking my memory through the BIOS settings. I used DRAM Calculator 1.7.3 for reference and safe values, even though the final values were established through trial and error. You can access your BIOS by going to your settings, update in security, recovery, restart now, troubleshoot, advanced options, UEFI firmware settings, restart. This will restart your PC and load up your BIOS so you can change your RAM speed and timings. Once in the BIOS, I went over to Extreme Tweaker, dropped down to AI Overclock Tuner and picked DOCP Standard. Now this alone can already boost your performance by a decent amount as recommended by your manufacturer. If you don't want to go further and you are satisfied with the values you are seeing, you can navigate to Exit tab, Save Changes and Reset. In my case, however, I wanted to push my RAM past the recommended overclock values. So going back to the Extreme Tweaker, under Memory Frequency, I changed mine to DDR4 3600 MHz. Now, the voltage is already set to 1.35 volts from when I enabled the DOCP profile, and in most cases, that should be enough. Now, I had to fix the timings. Under DRAM Timing Control, everything should be set to Auto, except the first 5 values which took me the most amount of time, because if these values were set too low, my PC wouldn't start and just be stuck on black screen. Sometimes it may even happen that your PC will start and run just fine for a few hours, but then the screen may freeze randomly at any point, which once again is an indication of your timings or your voltage being too low. In either case, you're gonna have to enter BIOS through safe boot. For me, there's a little red safe boot button located on my actual motherboard that I would press to reset my PC every time I encountered an error. If you're not sure where yours is, give yourself a huge favor and consult your motherboard's manual before attempting to overclock your RAM. After a few attempts, I finally found the lowest safe timings that did not crash my system and they happened to be 17, 19, 19, 19, 41. If you're wondering whether this was all worth it, I had gotten an extra 11 FPS on 1440p max settings in Heaven Unigen when compared to a basic DOCP profile. Also, while we're in the BIOS, we might as well increase airflow through our case by reducing temperature thresholds for our fans. Set each fan to turbo mode. Keep in mind however, faster fans means more noise. Once my RAM was stable, I then proceeded with overclocking the CPU. If you have a Ryzen CPU, there's an amazing application that will make it super easy for you to overclock, and it's called Ryzen Master. Open up the application and read the warning. This basically tells you that if you fry your CPU, that's on you. Press OK, and you should see the basic view of the application. Switch to Advanced View by clicking the button in the bottom left corner. So here is what I did that worked for me. Once again, the emphasis is on what I did, so this may or may not work for you depending on how lucky you got with your silicon lottery. Pick either Profile 1 or Profile 2, and at the top right side, select Manual. 
Now, a more advanced CPU overclock will be changing individual core speeds, which is not impossible, but definitely a lot more time consuming. On the contrary, you could just set one speed for all cores to run at. But the problem with that is that they will only run as fast as the weakest core. The option I chose was overclock per CCX. Essentially, each CCX holds three cores, so every group of three cores will run at different speeds. The speeds that I set them at was 4500, 4450, 4350, and 4350. This overclock makes sense for Warzone as the game is very poorly optimized and prioritized single core performance over multi core. The last step is our voltage. I originally set it to 1.35, but since then I dropped down to 1.34. Once again, the lower the better, but if you set it too low, your PC will crash and restart automatically. Once all the values are set and you're ready to go, hit apply and test. This will stress test your CPU for stability and apply the settings. Once all is well, hit save profile, and now every time you start up the application, you can just apply and test without having to enter the values again. Once the CPU was ready for overclock, I went ahead with overclocking my 3080, which I didn't really need to because even though my 3900X Ryzen 9 was overclocked, it was still bottlenecking the non overclock graphics card. But I only realized that after rewatching the gameplay footage where everything was already overclocked. You will also notice that the utilization of the graphics card did not go beyond the average of 70%. Nevertheless, to overclock my GPU, I used the good old MSI Afterburner. Once again, before attempting to overclock my GPU, I checked the power supply calculator to see if I had enough headroom to proceed. Once I opened the application, I went into settings and under general tab enabled the following. Unlock voltage control and unlock voltage monitoring. I then set the core voltage at plus 100, power limit to 110, which also moved my temperature limit to 91 degrees Celsius, unlock the fan speed by clicking on the little auto sign and drag it to the right all the way to 100%. Hit apply, and now to test my graphics card overclock, I use an application called Heaven from Unigen. These were the settings I used in Heaven. Once you run them, hit benchmark and watch the video. This part of the test was a little tedious as I had to sit there and watch each benchmark test and watch the temperatures as well as watch out for any stutters in the video. Once I ran the first test without any overclock, I recorded the FPS, score, highest temperature observed, as well as core and memory clocks. I started with just plus 75 core clock and after every test went up by plus 15. At plus 195, I started to notice the video to stutter, which is how I knew that my max was around plus 180. I then kept the plus 180 on the core clock and proceeded with the memory clock boost in the increments of plus 100. I ended up with plus 1100 without any issues on my memory clock. Once I finally reached a stable overclock across all of the parts mentioned above, I went ahead into Warzone and gave it another shot. I used the same settings that I used in my original benchmark video except this time I tried to land in more populated areas to see how much of a difference the overclock actually made and I gotta say, while the FPS counter definitely has gone up by 15 to 25 FPS, for some reason I expected a little more performance out of my Ryzen 9 3900X. Well, there you have it guys, enjoy the gameplay and let me know in the comments below what you think about the performance, whether you've tried it and if you have some ideas that can further boost my performance in Warzone. Also, if you enjoy my content, please give me a huge favor and sub to the channel. I'm actively trying to hit 1000 subs so I can start doing giveaways. Thank you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.